extraordinary piece of equipment or medication. But you know, there is one thing that really keeps us alive that we haven't yet figured out how to duplicate, mm -hmm. blood. So we said reporter Catherine Bursch explains that's why blood donors everywhere, and especially one man in Manatee County, are truly making a difference. This is familiar territory for Roy Richards. He's a bell ringer at Florida Blood Services. Good morning, Roy. Good morning, sir. All the phlebotomists at this Manatee County Center know Roy. He's a regular donor. The 84-year-old has good veins, good blood, and a personality. Yeah, knock, no, knock on wood is up here. <laughs> That flows too. Uh, he's a bundle of life, that's for sure. A very giving person. Like most folks, Roy first began donating blood at his workplace. That was back in Wisconsin, back in 1947. Something I figured I could do, which wasn't much on my part, you know. But unlike others, Roy kept at it. Now retired, he donates platelets every two weeks. You can tell he enjoys it, and he knows he's helping others. Platelets go to people fighting cancer. It's a good feeling when you get out of the chair here that it's going to help somewhere for someone. Myra Velez knows that help. She works at the... During a surgery, her son once needed six pints. We appreciate what he does, and um, it's, it's, it's life-saving. We all know what a gallon looks like. Now try to imagine 138 of these. It would certainly fill shelf after shelf. And that's how much blood Roy Richards has given over the years. He is Florida Blood Services' top donor. He has literally helped to save or sustain hundreds and hundreds of patient lives and given hope to their families. Roy Richards opens his veins, opens his heart to others. He's making a difference, one drop at a time. Take care, Roy. Take care. I'll be back. In Manatee County, Catherine Bursch, 10 News. That's a guarantee, right? Keep on coming so, back. Yeah. This puts it into perspective. Almost a thousand donations are needed every single day in the Tampa Bay area. And chances are that sometime in your lifetime, it, it's going to be you. According to Florida Blood Services, 9 out of 10 people who reach the age of 70 will require a blood transfusion at least once in their lives.